Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Creature Cradle to create any animals, monsters, birds, fishes, dinosaurs, etc. and send it to Icron 8 and Character Creator 4 to make it become an eye avatar that can use in your 3D animations project for Icron 8 and Character Creator 4. So start from now, I'm going to show you the step by step. Just have a look, this is my Icon 8. I have a monster that I created in the Creature Cradle, the Spore Creature Cradle. I create this and then now it is already in my Creature Creator 4 and also the Icon 8. And now you can see all of this. It has the full skeletons. It's already fully rigged that you can manipulate any of the 3D animations and if it even have the mouth that you can let it to close everything will just really awesome to create any monster and animals etc so now I'm going to close everything from the icons and correct the creator I just refresh everything I will show you from beginning just from zero you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all to turn on all the notifications so that when next time I publish this type of the new videos tutorials, you receive the notification immediately or you can like this video. It automatically will save in your YouTube's history. It is easier to find this tutorial later. Right, so start from now. I show you the step by step. First, you need to just go to the Steam and buy a game that is called Spore now I already have the Spore then in this Spore it already have a creature cradle in 3D that you can make any 3D monster and animals and I will just show you the step by step I play first and open the Spore app it is going to lead you to the creature cradle alright just wait for a while now it is already inside the Spore And just wait for a few seconds, it is loading and it is coming soon. Just close this and go to create. Then click here, space outfitter. Click. Then you are going to enter the creator. Then you can create your own monster or you can just select any of the monster from here and direct create it so start from beginning I'm, I'm going to create my own now I'm going to create so click here is to refresh the initial shape until you feel satisfied right let's say all right let's say if I feel satisfied with this then you must create a head you can just draw to create a head then just choose a mouth from here as demo I'm going to choose choose this mouth right. and maybe I can just put one more at here or it is up to you or you can just take it off then choose an eyes you can choose any eyes just put it there or you can put extra eyes as well right now Next, just choose some, some of the limbs or legs. Right, this is just an example. Then you can just, just reshape it. And this is for the tails. For this part, you can just make it small. Right. So now. Then next what can you do? Sometimes you, you may just want to adjust the pose. Yes. Right, so you can add other features as well. This is for the hand. Or just use anything. Then the leg. Okay. 
can adjust the position as well. Alright, then next, you may just add some other features. Once you feel satisfied, then you can just go to go to the pain mode. Yeah. Just give a pain. Choose some of the colors that you like. Maybe you want to have this. It's up to you. Okay. done already then you can click here to choose the outfit but you need to give your monster a name for example this one I'm going to put as monster 03 then okay then click here to change the outfit all right for, for the outfit part you can just choose choose some of the words like the hats you can put it on the top Just use any of the helmets, it is up to you. Alright, this is for humans, so it's not suitable for this monster. Maybe this. This is for the dress. Alright, not that suitable. Or you can just abandon it. Ah! <laughs> Or you can skip this part without without this this part. You can just abandon everything. It, it is still okay. okay. All right. Then once you feel satisfied already, then you can export it. To export it, you have to go to the pin. And then press. Control Shift C. Mm. Type it here. Mm. Coleda. Export. Oh. Then press Enter. Now you can see it already exported to a certain mm. locations in your document folder. So now you can just save and exit. Ah. <laughs> then now I'm going to quit the spore. Creature creator. Just escape. Quick spore. Now back to the Microsoft window. Right, next we are going to check the check the location. You can just move your mouse cursor down, right click here, and then open the document folder. Inside the document folder, it is under my spore creations. The creatures then it should be somewhere here the monster 03 is here you can see even the thumbnail is here the monster 03 all right it is here so the DAE file first we need to convert it to become FBX to convert it you can just go to the blender the blender is a free software and the latest version is blender 4.1 so you can download it and from the blender, you have to convert it to become the FBX. Just because of the icon and character created for does not support the DAE file. So we are going to use the blender first. Click file. All right, before that, press A to delete everything here. Delete everything then. Click file, import DAE from my sport creations, creatures. Monster 03, it is here. So click the Monster 03 before you click import. Then this tool you have to tick it to make sure all of the skeletons is going to arrange properly. Then click import Coleda. 
Then from here, just turn on the texture and click the material, click minus to remove the material and click plus new, the base color, click and choose the image texture, then open. Open the image texture from document as well, white spot creations, creatures. The monster 03 diffuse, this is the texture, the material texture. And then, next step, go to the shading. From the shading here, the alpha, just make it become none. That it will back to the normal. Next, we are going to set the normal. The normal map and also the specular. Of course, this one, you can set it later in, in icons and character creator. Or you can set it now if you want. Just drag it in and drag it in. Now you can see the normal. So the normal is set here. Just drag the colors to the normal and this one is the specular. Just expand the specular. Drag the color to IOR. Then everything already set completely back to the layout. So from here you can export the FBX file. So to export the FBX file, click file, export FBX. The path mode you have to choose copy so that all of the material texture embedded inside the FBX file. Then here have to make sure you turn it on. And I'm going to export it on my desktop and I will name this as monster03. Then click export. Now you can see it already exported as FBX file. It is already here. So now we can import this 3D monster into the character creator 4. To make it become an eye avatar, just drag in. Then choose character, make it become a creature, non-human creature, click apply. Then now you can have a check, click the modify, click here, click edit the post to check all of the skeletons and rigs is that everything run normally. So now you can see you have this. Right, it's awesome. Right next, we just check check randomly. For example, the hand, the head. Where is the head? The head is at here. Which one is the head skeletons? Should be somewhere here. All right. Then this one. This is the head. And we can just test the mouth. The mouth is at here. Just double click and try to rotate it to see. Yes, everything can work correctly. Control Z. So now we can just export as icon avatar file or you can save this CC project. To to, to export as iAvatar, click file, export iAvatar. Then from here, you can just click export. And I will export it on my desktop. Name this as monster03. Now it already become an iAvatar. It should be here. And where is it? Click file, export iAvatar. I not yet select my desktop, I think. Right, this is at, at my desktop. I right click refresh it to see where is the location. OneDrive Persona. All right, this is the save just now. I should save it on my desktop. Monster 03 i avatar. All right, now it is already here. So it is already ready for icon 3D animations. So I try to import into my icon 8. Just drag this i avatar into icon 8. And now. You can see this 3D monster already in my icon 8. And if you want to create 3D animations, you can go to the edit motion layer to create some keyframes, etc. It is up to you. Just use your icon skills to make the 3D animations with this monster. Right. 
That's all for today about my tutorials on the creature creator, the small creature creator to icon 8 and creator creator 4, make it as the eye avatar for your 3D animations to create any of the animals, monsters, birds, fishes, dinosaurs, etc. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharings, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you!